it's Melissa. In this video, we are going to go start to finish on how to make a vinyl decal, print and cut vinyl decal um, on the Roland BN2. Now, I am going to show you the workflow that is going to give you a little bit more advanced settings. So what we are going to do is we are going to start in DG Connect, then we are going to go to the Utility, then we are going to go to Flexi Designer to auto add cut lines. Yes, I said at auto add cut lines. And then I will show you how to export that file and pull it into VersaWorks. Now, I will tell you there is a way to completely bypass VersaWorks and just actually send your um, design, your image file, whatever, from Flexi Designer straight to the BN2, but you don't get quite as many uh, settings. So I do have a separate video on that that I will link to, but this is going to give you all of the settings, and by the end, we will have a vinyl uh, decal or two that we print and cut on our brand new BN2 20A. Okay, so I have the Roland DG Connect Hub set up here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is make sure that my machine is ready to print. So we're gonna open up the utility by just clicking open. And the message at the top here says that output is possible. So we are all set um, to do that. We have, this is the type of material, the media that I have loaded. Um, if you have not already gone through the tutorial for adding media for the first time, then you will want to do that. I also have a video for that. Okay, so we'll just let that run in the background. We are just going to go directly into the VersaWorks version of Flexi Designer. So we'll just launch that directly from here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go to File Open and I'm gonna find my file. So I'm looking for a file that, it could be an SVG, PNG, JPEG. I have this one right down here, Happy Last Day of School, that I am going to open. So I'll just click Open and it's going to open um, in the workspace. Now, it is changing the document size to match the original size of the design. So I need to change a couple of things. First, go to File and then click Document Setup. So what you wanna do here is select custom, which is all the way at the top, and then change the um, page width to match the width of your media. So in this case, uh, well, not necessarily the width of your media, but the printable area. So in this case, it's gonna be 18.9. And then for the height, you just adjust it however much you want. Let's just put in like 30 inches right now so that we get a pretty long piece. There we go. Um, that this design is 12 of like, uh, yeah, it's about 12 inches. So I'm going to scale it down eventually, but I'm going to do that um, after we create our cut lines. Okay. So with the design in the workspace and selected, selected, I'm just using my mouse to, to click on it. I'm going to go to the effects panel and I'll click contour cut. Okay. You can see it instantly put a contour around my design. Now, a few things. First thing that I would suggest that you do is change the color of your contour. So down here, you have all of these different contours. So if you are have been around rolling long enough to know that the cut contour is typically that magenta fuchsia color pink. So it's whatever's called cut contour, that's what you wanna use. So these are already built in to the Flexi Designer VersaWorks edition. So this is what's super great about it. So I'm gonna change it to that. Now let's worry about where the contour is, okay? So as you can see, it's nice that it gives you the preview. You have the ability to change the, the um, distance of the offset. So let's say we wanna create a sticker um, that is basically solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to increase my offset distance enough that everything kind of overlaps itself. And what you're going to see is that now I have basically one, almost one, looks like a little bit extra there, um, of an offset. So the more that I increase it, check, watch down here. I'm just going to keep increasing it a little bit so that it, there we go. So now I have one solid cut line around my design. Okay. But let's say I want the, the middle of the D to cut out, okay? So I can change that to say cut with holes. And that is going to essentially put offsets the exact distance around the entire design. So even if, um, so, so the distance here is 0.34 from the edge of the L to the left. Well, it's also 0.34 to the right now. It has put holes in there. So you have the option to turn those on and off. And then I'm just going to click check. And that is going to apply the contour. That's it. That's all you have to do. There's no more bouncing to a bunch of different programs. So 
Okay, so now we can just change the size of our design if we want to. We can scale it. So in this case, right now, um, we're starting on the this design central panel. It has a lot of options for you. So right now you can see I'm in the contour panel. If I go over here to scale on that same panel, I can adjust the size. So whatever size you want your design to be, I'm just going to uh, change this down to five inches. Um, it's going to stay proportioned because I have um, it the proportional box selected there. And then I'm just going to move it up to the top left corner and we are set to go. So if there's anything else that you want to do with your design, like rotate it, you can do that from that option there. If you would like to duplicate, you can right click and click duplicate. And then you've got uh, a duplicate uh, um, design there as well. Okay, now if you get to this point and you decide that you do not want to send directly to your device because you would like more options uh, for printing and cutting and you would rather go directly into VersaWorks, what you're going to do instead of send to device is you're going to go to File Export. So this is going to give you the option to export this design in whatever format you want, but you are going to want a PDF. So let's just, um, I'm just going to put a VW at the end of this so that I remember that this is the one that I want. So I'll click save and that then saves it out. Now I can get into VersaWorks one of two ways. I can just launch VersaWorks, which I already have launched, or I can go back to um, my hub here and click open for VersaWorks. Since I already have VersaWorks open, I'm just going to go here. Now I have multiple machines, as you can see. So I just want to make sure that I'm on my BN2 and then I'm going to go like I normally would file add job to Q. And in this case, I'm just going to put it in QE so that um, I have it where I can easily find it. And it's in, I saved it in downloads. Here it is. So I will select it and click open. So that is going to open up in my QE. Now here it is. You can see it has cut lines around it. That is indicated normal cut because we, we added those in um, Flexi. Now this is where I can make all of my setting changes by right clicking and clicking settings. Okay. So this is going to open up. It's showing me, um, the full page. It's showing me exactly where my cut lines are going to be. Let's say in this case that I decide, you know what, I need it to be a little bit smaller and I want more than one copy. Um, I want them small enough that, you know, there's four across. So I'm actually going to scale down even further and it'll, um, it should, move them up there or it'll tell me if I can move them up there. Yeah, these will fit there. Um, so the benefit of going into VersaWorks is you have a bunch of options here. So quality. Now, instead of um, there was only three options that we had in Flexi, now we have four. So I am still going to, in this case, I'm still going to do standard because as you can see, the time is exactly the same. Media type, I have the same amount the same options for media type. I'm still going to do vinyl, but what I also have down here is color management. A ton, uh, a dozen or so different color managements. I like to use true rich color. So I'm going to pick that. Um, in order to get the absolute fastest, um, printing, you want to make sure that you have bi-directional, um, selected as opposed to unidirectional, that's going to speed things up for you there. Um, and then you have other options here. So in this case, the design is not, um, super complicated or anything, but you will have here, for example, let's say we want to add not only an image boundary, but we want the image boundary to be perf cut. So let's just, I'm going to put perf cut. This is one of those options that is not available in Flexi. Okay, so perf cut is going to cut all the way through, or I'm going to show it to you so you can see what the difference is here. All right. And then we have job management. Again, there's nothing that I'm really going to do in any of these other options here, uh, but they are all there. And as you can see, a lot more options, dozens and dozens, hundreds of different combinations of options um, here that you don't get in Flexi. So I'll click OK, and then I will click uh, right click and click print. And this will begin the printing um, for me. Again, it's going to print, it's going to cut, and then it's going to perf cut. So here is where it is doing the kiss cut around each of the vinyl um, decals themselves, that offset that we added with the contour. Um, and after it does that, it will go back and it will do the perf cut, which will use 
um, more force and will go through both the vinyl itself as well as the backing. Now, what you may notice is how this is cutting. So here you can see the blade is a little bit tapping. That is where it's making those curve cuts. So the vinyl has to stay connected to the main sheet while it's um, going through the machine. So it has to have basically little tabs and that's what you're seeing that tapping doing. Again, not an option that you're going to get if you are cutting um, directly from, sending directly to the device from uh, Flexi. However, you can um, add this option if you export from Flexi and then use the full settings um, panel in Verseworks. Okay. So what you can see here is it is now perf cut. I'm just gonna do this so you can see. And now I have my two stickers and then I can just, the vinyl will peel. Just trying to show you how this looks and then there we have it. And that's it. That's all you need to do to get those advanced settings through VersaWorks while also adding auto cut lines when you're doing a print and cut. Now, of course, this does not just apply to vinyl stickers. You can use any type of material for this process, but I did want to see, I did want to show you what my recommended workflow is if you are used to bouncing into VersaWorks, which I would recommend once you uh, get really comfortable using Flexi Designer. And as you can see, Flexi Designer that is included with the BN2 20 and 20A is really, really simple, fast, and easy to use. There has never been an easier or faster way to add uh, cut lines that VersaWorks can use. So definitely take advantage of that. If you guys are looking for one-on-one -on -one help with your Roland BN20, Roland BN2, 20A, any of those types of machines, as well as anything else um, that I have, whether it's a laser, DTF, printers, sublimation, Silhouette, of course, um, make sure that you check out Silhouette U. I offer exclusive video content on there, along with one-on-one -on -one help, lots of different uh, deals that are exclusive to members, and you can check it out for with a seven-day free trial. Don't forget to subscribe to our, our YouTube channel so you don't miss an update, and I'll see you guys around.